Hey guys, how's it going? I'm that socially awkward gamer you probably forgot exists. The Lesmos Patty Jack, and these are 10 things about Witcher 3. Number 1. The gameplay is solid and difficult, but not overly difficult like other games that I'm not super keen on. I would love Dark Souls if Dark Souls was a little bit easier for me and I could get further in the game, but I don't have the patience or the time to do it. So Witcher 3 has found a great medium between the two, it's not too easy, it's not too difficult, and I can still get a solid gameplay experience, as well as progress through the game itself. Number 2. The quests are frequent in the game. There's a lot of them. You can just wander around through every town, or you just go through the wilderness, and you find a little exclamation point, and you get a cool side quest. And the thing is, though, the side quests are actual quests. They're not just go kill five dogs and come back here and I'll give you 10 gold. A lot of the time you can actually end up in big boss fights because of them, which is really needed in a game like this because you can't save all your big boss fights for the story. That's not fun. So I would love to get a little quest and go over to this village and then figure out that there's this big giant wraith evil thing haunting it that I need to kill and prepare for in order to do so. So the game has a lot of varied quests, and the quests are actual, not just little fluff things, most of the time. Number three, there are various locations to discover in the land. You can usually find them by the little question mark symbols on your map, and you go over there and it's like a big bear that's trying to kill you, a group of bandits, there might be some hidden treasures, there could be a big ritual stone being guarded by a ghost that you need to kill so you can gain the stone's power, and you get like an ability point or something. There's lots of cool areas and little places to discover in the world. And that, it lends itself well to the world because you can just ignore the main story for a while, go level up your character, and just go, like, explore everything and find all these cool little things that they've added in. Number four, the world is full of new and interesting enemies to discover. In the first, say, three hours of the game, I probably fought eight to ten different types of enemies, ranging from bandits to these like amphibious drowner creatures over to griffins to wolves to everything in between and all the enemies have different weaknesses that you need to exploit they all have different attack patterns that you need to know how to deal with the game does a really good job of varying its enemies up number five every fight i've encountered including the boss fights especially the boss fights really have been extremely fun to do this is a really big deal in rpgs there's a lot of RPGs, say Dragon Age, everything, Inquisition especially, where fighting people just feels like fighting people. They've either got a bow, or they've got magic, or they got a shield. But every different enemy type in The Witcher seems to have a different way to defeat it. You need to really exploit their weaknesses, you need to really know how to fight them, and especially in boss fights, you need to know how to prepare in order to defeat them properly. Whether that be leveling up a little bit more, making a specific potion, or making sure that you have the right spell equipped. There's a lot of cool ways to do it, and it's a really big plus in the game. Those are five good things about the game. Now let's move on to five things I didn't like, or five things I just thought were bad in general. Number one, Geralt is a very weak character. I really don't like him. He is too serious. He's not a very compelling character. He talks like Batman all the time. Ah, rah, rah, rah. Uh, it's too gruff. I'm really sick of that type of character. Please give them a regular person's voice that hasn't been smoking for 70 years. And the guy really needs to learn how to use pronouns properly and form full sentences. You're not a caveman, Geralt. You don't say Griffin dead. You say, the Griffin is dead. You don't say, feel bad. You say, I feel bad. Right? There's, there's other words. Not everything is in caveman talk. You're in the Middle Ages. It's not like... Ugh. Ugh. It irritates me more than it should, but it's there and it makes me like the game a little bit less. Number two. The game feels a little bit clunky at times. There's a few times where I'm trying to draw my sword in combat. I can't do it because the animation takes too long, so I just get mauled and killed. Moving around the world and jumping over things can be a hassle. I've been trying to jump over fences and I've had to do like five tries before he actually does the vaulting over animation. And sometimes the game just feels a little bit more controller-centric, and I'm playing a mouse and keyboard, so it could have used a bit more polishing. Number three, the world feels pretty empty at times. 
If you're not finding one of those world encounters or world areas, then you can just be wandering around the forest and trying to find something to kill or someone to talk to. You use your Witcher sense to look around and you still can't find anything. It's just empty, save for a few deer. Now, I think that could have been alleviated if they put in some type of uh, random world encounters system. Uh, kind of like Skyrim did, granted that system isn't perfect and they can feel samey after a while. But it kind of just breaks up the monotony of walking or riding through a forest looking for something to do. Number four. There's a lot of glitches in this game still. Even with the latest patches that I've absolutely 100% downloaded, there's a lot of them. Uh, there's a lot of movement glitches, like I said, not being able to get over fences. The peasants are absolutely dumb. I'm, I'm talking Far Cry 3 level of stupid. Wandering up to monsters and just standing there while they get attacked and die. And I've run into a lot of audio issues as well. So there's been certain times when I've been at a village, there's been three peasants standing there. One of them will say, well, fine weather this morning, and then right when he finishes saying that, the next one will say, well, fine weather this morning, and it'll keep going around in a circle, and it'll never end, and it's really irritating. It's like they're all singing, like, row, row, row your boat, and they're syncing it up, and it's, ah, That's really irritating. And there's a few horse glitches as well. I've had my horse not be able to actually, like, run up to me, even though I'm standing in an open field. It's just, dang, eh, yeah. There's a few graphical glitches as well. Uh, there's been some pixelation and cutscenes and stuff, so it needs more patches, and I'm confident that most of it will get fixed, though. And number five, the game is not a true sandbox experience. And this is a very subjective one for me. I'm a big fan of games like Elder Scrolls that really let you do whatever you want. I'm saying if I want to go on a killing spree and kill all the peasants in a village, you better let me. Because sometimes I've had a really bad day when I get home from work. And I want to just go and go ham on, on a bunch of random people. <laughs> okay. I enjoy it when games let you do whatever you want. They give you all the options. This game do does the illusion of that. It gives you lots of quest options. And it makes Geralt out as a very neutral party. But at the same time, I can't just go into a village and say punch some peasant in the face. It doesn't let you. And I would like it to let me, even if it doesn't further the story in any way, just because I have the option to do it. I like games that give you every option in the world, and I feel like it's not a real sandbox experience unless it does that. But again, that's a completely subjective complaint, and a lot of people are perfectly fine with it, and that's okay. So, those are 10 things about Witcher 3. Do you disagree with me, or do you have other points to add? Please let me know in the comments. Keep everything civil. Don't yell at me like a fourth grader. If you like this video, please give it a like, because I would be super appreciative. I am Patty Jack, and I will see you guys next time. Peace off.